Let's read in in Mark chapter 4 and verse 35. And the same day, when the evening had come, he said to them, Let us pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Luke has it twice, Master, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, And said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. The disciples were caught off guard. I mean, they were were panicked. They probably wouldn't have spoken to the Lord Jesus that way if everything was calm and cool, you know? They just lost it for a minute. And the Lord Jesus first rebukes the wind and waves. He, he deals with the problem. And the response of the disciples is this. They said, what manner of man is this? That's how the King James reads. What manner of man is this? The Greek word is potapos, which is two roots, when and where. We, we'd say like, what? Right? It means from where does he come? What country? Do, he's not a local. Local people can't do this sort of thing. This is supernatural. This is otherworldly. Now, that's what we're doing in town. That's what you're doing in your community. We believe God is a prayer answering God. People have desperate needs all around us. And sometimes we have to go through storms, we have to have the cancer. We have to have the family struggles. We have to have the setbacks. Why? So that God can perform a miracle like the blind man. This is for the glory of God. What does that mean? It means this is the way God shows how wonderful he is. How how he can meet needs. How he can minister to people. How much he cares. This is how he does it. By letting us go through storms and crying out to the Lord, help Lord and the Lord answers our prayer and all the little ships around say wow, I'd like Jesus in my boat too that's what I need that's what the world needs to see, right? they need to see that Jesus is just what they need Amy Carmichael wrote Thou art the Lord who slept upon the pillow. Thou art the Lord who soothed the furious sea. What matters beating winds and tossing billows if only we are in the boat with thee?